Hello everyone, Suzanne here. It's nice to be with you again. Today I wanted to talk about being naive. I like the word naive um, because it's a softer word than some other things that I have called myself in my life. Uh, it's less critical. It's more understanding and gentle. And when I am out in the world and I become critical and judgmental of others, of life, um, when I recognize that I'm simply being naive, when I recognize that, that, that there is a lack of experience, that there is a lack of wisdom or judgment in this moment, then I don't go down the rabbit hole of guilt and shame, and I don't bring forward the little survivor uh, to take the wheel. She can sit in the back seat and just continue to hopefully enjoy the ride. What folks are, as we endure, which is what we are doing, which one of my heroes says that moral courage and endurance are the answers to a rich life. So yes, we are enduring and we are, we are week by week, day by day, moment by moment, we're enduring. And we need to recognize that we don't have the experience to deal with what we're dealing with right now. We don't have anything to draw on, or at least we don't think we do, other than sort of our, not just our own survivors and how they have coped and managed, but also the survivors of our parents and the trauma that they endured through their lifetime um, and there is a residue, there is a perfume that we walk through as children and we collect some of that. It becomes a part of our makeup. So when the stress is high, as it is right now, we can freeze, we can flee, we can fight. We can also fawn as, as a way to manage, as a way to try and control that which is uncontrollable. And we often can get lost in our stories. We can get lost in our opinions. We can get lost in our judgments. Just in our position, you know, when we have a story of how it's supposed to be or how I'm supposed to be or how you're supposed to be. Even if, even if I don't like it, I, I need to recognize that I am being naive in that moment because I don't know. The reality is I don't know. And the reality also is that I've never known, we've never known when good things are going to happen, when bad things are going to happen, when ordinary mediocre things are going to happen, or when something extraordinary is going to happen. We have never known. We have never known. And you know what? It's okay. It's been okay for our heart, okay for our soul, that we have never known. The heart accepts this reality. It has not needed to control or change or know. There is deep peace in the heart of not knowing. So when we find ourselves or the person in the grocery store, 
or the person driving the other car. And we are in some traumatic reaction to this stress, to this unknowability, when we are becoming self-critical, because we should know. Well, you know what? I was told that. I, you know, well, don't you know? You should know better. Well, no, actually, I don't. I don't. I've never done this before. I've never lived this moment before, and neither have you. So when people are withdrawing in a flight or in a, in a freeze response, or they're fighting, there's aggression, they're in a fight response, very uncomfortable, very challenging to connect. Or when they're just bolting, they're just checking out because they can't, their little survivors are exhausted. Let's consider that we're all naive. And in these moments, we're going to be more naive than maybe we have been for a long time. And our little survivors are going to be on the job looking for evidence of some threat, whether it's real or imagined. Our little survivors look through their little eyes and they see people with masks on their face. This is a threat to them. But your heart can look at the eyes. I invite you to look in their eyes. I invite you to recognize and be gentle with your own naivety. And then you can begin to trust life. You can begin to let go of your stories of how things should be or how you should be or how anybody else should be. And you can open to some forgiveness. This is my hope. This is what I offer myself. Ah, oh, I'm so naive. I'm so naive. You know, when I look at my grandbabies going off to school and I want to mount a story that there's some threat but then all the joy is sucked out of my connection with them this is not what i want so the next time we talk we're going to talk about what you want because what you want is your freedom from this bondage of survivorship and what you want to experience. What do you want to experience rather than fear, apprehension, suspicion, doubt? What do you want? I'm going to leave you with this question. Just ask the heart what it wants. And when you're in the grocery store, look at the eyes of the person who is serving you. Try to enjoy yourself. I give you permission. I give myself permission to enjoy, not just endure. Bye for now.